For the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Jacob Johnson, and right now I am joined by Coach Nangle from the women's lacrosse team. A big victory, 16-15 to in overtime against High Point. First ever victory against the two-time reigning champion of the Big South Conference. All of these all of these different things in this game. How big was this game for you guys and your team? Uh, it was huge. I mean, for lots of reasons. Obviously, High Point's a very good team. Um, you know, they've come in here and they've beaten us by a lot. And just us coming off those four wins, like we kind of needed to keep our momentum going, going into another huge game on Sunday. So that win is huge for us, just keeping our, almost like our win streak going. Today being the last home game of the regular season, it was senior day, and your seniors did step up in a big way. The biggest was Nina Dene, five goals. She actually had a six that did get wiped off, but five goals in this game. How key was the seniority of this team today against High Point? Oh, huge. I mean, it's just the whole story about those guys is crazy because Morgan and Nina both are fifth years and didn't even know they would be coming back this year. Um, and they were here from pretty much the start. You know, they've they've suffered through season after season where they weren't scoring, they weren't winning any games, and you know they've just you know they were pretty defeated. And for them to be able to have the season that they're having this year and to win a game like this in that fashion on Senior Day is just I mean you can't write it any better. Um, and it's I told them before the game I was like you know. Usually when you have senior games, you come in and do the pregame talk, and you're like, guys, yeah, you know, you play for the seniors. I was like, but this year, with the, the type of people they are and the leadership that they bring, the, you don't have to tell the girls to play for them. You know, they've been playing for them since we started in February, and it's just like they all have each other's back, and they're working hard together and supporting each other, and I knew there was no way they were going to let them go out um, without at least a tough fall game, ideally a W. <laughs> You and Winthrop stay perfect. Now you're going to face off for first place. Quick turnaround. How long are you going to celebrate this one before then focusing on the Eagles? I mean, not long. I'm probably going to go watch the Longwood game or as soon as it gets up because um, we have this Friday-Sunday stuff. It's tough, and they're a very good team, and it's going to be a brawl, and we're coming off a tough fault game. So it's tough because it's great, and you want to celebrate it, and it's awesome. But, you know, we everybody makes the playoffs. So that's what I told them after the game. I'm like, we could see this team again, and they're not going to forget this. You know, they're going to be coming af after us. So um, it's hard. Like, you want to celebrate it, but you have to keep chipping away because it's not over yet. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm now joined by freshman Katie Pridemore. Big last few minutes of that game. You had the last two goals in regulation to tie it up. Can you talk us through both of those shots that you had? <laughs> you know, I honestly don't even remember them. I just remember, you know, all my teammates just like, I think Nina fed me and I just, you know, thought I got to finish this and I just put it away. I didn't really put much thought into it, but you know, it was a goal. What was it like playing against a very physical high point team? There was a lot of fouls in this game. What was it like playing against a very tough team who's a very seasoned team as well in the Panthers? I think it was really good competition. They're such a good team, and it was really like exciting to play someone of such high level. I think we really stepped up to the plate with definitely like you know just the fouls they didn't call or anything like that. We really just came out and played hard. And what does it mean for for you guys seeing your upper class? the seniors going out at a home victory against a team that they haven't beaten before in their career in high point. What does it mean for you guys? Words cannot describe how the feeling. It's so awesome. I'm so proud of like each one of them. I love playing with them, and I'm just so happy for all of them, for all the hard work they put in, and you know this is a result we get. Quick turnaround. How do you mentally prepare for Winthrop team in just about two days? Uh, I think you know just keep our head focused on you know what we got to do and get it done in the game. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. I'm now joined by senior Nina Dene. Five goals in this game. First one coming 12 seconds into the game. Just talk us through through the beginning of this game where you were just on fire. Um, really, I think just when the clock starts, adrenaline takes over, and that's what carried me through the entire game. You have played high point a few times in your career, and you have been unsuccessful as a team against them up until now. What does it mean to beat two-time defending champion, high point that you haven't beat in your entire career? Honestly, um, being a fifth year, it was just really nice to have a table's turn because um, we've seen this story, and I was just, I'm honestly just thankful and blessed to be here to change the ending of the story. What was the overtime period like for you guys? And you had the, I believe, the second goal in overtime. Um, honestly, I can't tell you the last time I played an overtime game. I My body feels like 87, but in that moment, I knew I needed to kick it into gear somehow find my 18-year-old wheels um, and just really focus on um, our loose ends and finishing games that I didn't get to finish last year. 
as a senior, you've got a quick turnaround, and now you're going to be playing for first place, for sole possession of first place in just less than 48 hours. Um, what's this next less than 48 hours going to be for you as a leadership side for this team? Um, coming from a leadership standpoint, we need to celebrate quick, but focus even quicker, rest up our bodies, and just really train ourselves to think um, – that we can beat Winthrop, and that's what we need to know going on in the field, and that's how we need to start, and that's how we need to finish the game. Good luck. Thank you. Well, for Nina Dene, I'm Jacob Johnston for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.